We now consider a conditional statement. Conditionals allow us to have code happen only if a certain condition is true. In the class symbol if, we create a scanner object named input scanner and use its next double method to read a GPA from the keyboard. If the GPA is at least 3.0, then we will print a message congratulating the student on making the dean's list. If not, it does nothing. Note in either case, the program continues after the closing curly brace for the if, so the message at the end will always be printed. We'll now compile and run the program. It is useful to test the boundary cases, so in addition to testing a GPA below 3.0 and a GPA above 3.0, we'll also test 3.0. The keyword else allows us to set up an either or scenario. In the class simple if else, we again read a GPA from the keyboard. This time, we'll either print academic probation if the GPA is less than 2.0, or academically proficient otherwise. We now compile and run the program. Again, we'll test below, above, and exactly 2.0. We can set up multiple paths through the code using ELSIF. In the class if ELSIF, we convert an exam score to a letter grade using the 10-point scale. We look at each possibility in turn until we find one that is true, and then print the appropriate message. In Java, ampersand ampersand is used to mean AND. Similarly, pipe pipe may be used for OR. Since the else means that the first condition must be false, it is redundant to have a test make sure that the score is less than 90. We can remove these extraneous tests to make the program more efficient and easy to read. In an if-else-if statement, it keeps looking at the conditions until it finds one that is true. It will then skip over all the others past the closing curly brace. This means the order is important. If we put the score greater than or equal to 80 first, and type in 95, it will print B and not get to the test for score greater than or equal to 90.